Uh, hey, everyone. Welcome to Drunk Jeff Eats. This is a, a weird episode. I'm filming this early, early in the morning because maybe some alcoholics have uh, been in my place. Where they've woken up at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Because I started drinking early in the day. And, uh... They found themselves confused, so they started drinking again. And, uh, here we are. It's not going to be good. So anyways, I decided to order myself some food. It's not, to my knowledge, a new menu item, but I decided to get the IHOP. Um, it's like, a, I'll put it in the description what I ordered. But it's like a, uh, an ultimate steak omelet. And here it is. Um, by the way, it also came with three pancakes, which I put in the fridge. Um, God damn it. If, anyways, set. It doesn't matter what day it is, but like three or four days ago, I did the same thing, similar thing, where I wanted breakfast food to go to bed when I was drunk uh, in the early morning. And um, I feel like that food betrayed me, if you know what I mean. I'm not gonna get more graphic than that. Oh my God! <laughs> But uh, let's try this omelet, huh? From IHOP. Well, first things first, this is cold as shit. Um, so, I'm gonna blame that on me. The delivery device was probably not in place for the morning. So, we're gonna pause this. I'm going to microwave, what did I just say, microwave this for uh, 22 seconds, and we'll be right back on Drunk Chef Eats. One eternity later. So I got this omelet without mushrooms. I mean, it is big. I don't know what. It's amazing what the microwave does. <laughs> it made this from miserable to delicious. And still also humongous. So this steak, very uh, chewy. And it's not because I microwave the omelet. It's just seemingly uh, stringy. I don't know. I'm. I love steak. I like to. I, I cook a good steak. I love eating steak. I don't know the vernacular that well. But this is like not high quality steak. That piece of cow was delicious. I don't know. I might be a little over uh, aggressive with my criticism because I mentioned McDonald's and that may have been with a steak item, a steak breakfast item and the steak didn't was not great. And again, I've Spent a lot of time visiting uh, the restroom. I'm one of those people who can never throw up. Yeah. <sighs> I wish I could throw up. I know it would help. <sighs> <sighs> so, I'm going to be a little sensitive to stringy, chewy steak. But, uh, 
What am I doing here? It's hitting the spot enough. And I was just about to compliment the egg and it literally fell apart and left everything inside of it. <laughs> Actually, to be quite honest, this is what was left, which is almost all egg. I don't know why Gangnam Style is playing right now. Here's my remainder. Um, I think my takeaway would be, if you're hammered, which I probably am, I just don't realize it. You know, if you're watching this, don't judge me. One thing I'll say is I don't think I could recommend this to anyone who's not hammered, but after microwaving it, which again, probably was a delay into the delivery process because not a lot of people are ordering delivery at seven in the morning or whatever the hell it is. If you're trying to get some, uh, ugh. Coat the stomach. I don't I really have anything intelligent to say because I'm now... You know what actually makes you realize how fucking drunk you are? When you eat food. And it like sobers you up enough where you're like, Whoa. My head's spinning. So, uh... I'm gonna go to sleep right now. And uh, make sure you subscribe for more Drunk Jeff Eats. And uh, podcast clips, probably. And whatever the hell else comes out of this YouTube channel, who knows? It's a fun surprise. Just like my life. Fun surprise! When I wake up, this video will be a fun surprise. And I'll be like, oh, I should edit this and put it on YouTube. Thank you, Drunk Jeff, for giving me content.